All right, so we're here to have a chat about the Hobie Lynx. Now, we've already done our initial review on this boat, and this is a six month follow up. So, I've been using this boat for six months now. We've been fitting it out with all of the parts that we found to be necessary items to be on the boat. And we're going to have a little bit of a quick run through just so you can have a look at this boat. We'll just do a quick pass over. So that's her there. Starting from the bow, we ended up getting the Hobie Compass fish bag and doing a little upgrade there to the bungees to clip it into place. My net just lays on top of that. We've then got the Hummingbird Helix 9 fitted on a ram ball there. We've got a custom adapted Hobie bin that we've done here. That actually took over from my cup holder. That's got the retractable lanyard my pliers, scissors, anything I need in there. Lip grips on the side. The Hobie cushion on the seat. That just makes it a little bit more comfortable for those big days. We've also got the Burley Pro pockets. We've got one on that side, which has my scissors and pliers holder. We've also got one on that side, which is just a four, uh, 50 mil jig bucket. We've got a rail blazer rod holder there on an extension to allow the rod and reel to get away from the water a little bit. Then we've got a vantage seat bag at the back for all your important stuff you don't want to fall overboard. Now the crucial part of this boat is definitely going to be your H crate. How you set this up will definitely be how useful the boat becomes. Obviously having no in-hull storage it makes life a little bit harder but with the H crate you've essentially adapted four rod holders straight away so you see I've got one, two, three, four in each corner. I've got my GoPro boom that sits off the side of this one as well. We've adapted your two tray tackle tray holder that you usually get in your pro anglers just to a, a H-Rail universal plate there, we've bolted that to that one. Then we've got your Hobie bin on this side that houses all my soft plastics and stuff that I need to access pretty easily. And then if we tuck ourselves in behind here you'll see I've got my two FPV power batteries. This one powers my sounder and this guy over here gives me continuous power to my GoPro. So. We've also done a mat kit upgrade, which you can't see too much of because there's accessories laying all over the top of it, but that was a great upgrade, made the boat look amazing. We've got a Railblazer star port on the back here. That's just for my anchor light when I do the early morning sessions. Um, everything that we've done to this boat, we found it to be the necessary items to put on there. There are other upgrades, hate trails, all that sort of stuff, but there's too many negatives that balance out the positives of having it on there so you know this boat is an all-round boat it makes life easy getting it on the water on the roof storing it at home all that sort of stuff but it also opens up a whole different world for accessories and how we mount everything on there but as you can see we got Lee in the background he's on the outback and I can honestly say that the Lynx keeps up with the outbacks and the PAs just as well as any other boat in the Hobie fleet so have a look at that one guys, we'll do a little bit of b-roll footage and uh, show you some of the accessories a bit closer.